We have one more form of bullying that grade five, six, you really need to learn about and be aware of, and that is sexual harassment. And right now I'm going to ask all of you to raise your maturity. This is a topic that some of you have probably talked about at home or even in the classroom, but some of you probably have never even heard about it. So sexual harassment is something in grade five, six that is happening. And so if we can help you understand what it is, hopefully we can help you avoid it. So let's start with the word harassment, because all along we've been talking about bullying and now all of a sudden I've switched to the word harassment. Harassment is just another word that's used that means exactly the same thing as bullying. So when we talk about physical bullying, we could also call it physical harassment. Verbal bullying could be called verbal harassment. Well, when it comes to sexual acts, inappropriate acts, comments, verbal comments, gestures, etc., we call it sexual harassment. So sexual harassment is unwanted verbal comments or nonverbal gestures or even physical aggression that's directed towards somebody based on their sex, and that sex is the gender you are assigned at birth male, female, boy, girl. You could be sexually harassed for your sexual orientation, who you choose to like or love in your relationships, or gender identity, the gender you choose to express. And just like cyberbullying and racism, sexual harassment, many forms of it include uh, criminal charges.